bullet points are the foundation of your presentation. While sly titles are your catchy headlines, it is the hard working bullet points that do all the heavy lifting to best communicate your core ideas on each slide. So how do you make them better? <laughs> Having a live copy editor by your side would be outstanding, but who can afford a dedicated speechwriter? So instead, turn powerful chatbots into your digital AI copy editor. Hi, this is Les from Power Up Training, and I'm gonna teach you how to use OpenAI's ChatGPT as your digital bullet point editor to brainstorm new phrasings. Let's power up with a quick example to see how it works and then dig deeper. Our first slide is a mess with too many words and inconsistent bullet lines with a mishmash of formatting. So here's our quick fix. I'm already logged into OpenAI and I'm going to put in our first prompt at the bottom of the page. Create a new single slide presentation called your laptops are being replaced using the following bullet points. Pay close attention to the specificness of this prompt. I'm saying what I'm building, a single slide, not a letter or a movie script, but a single slide. And then I provide the context with a leading title. And then I go back and grab the four bullet points from my PowerPoint slide deck and paste them into GPT prompt box and hit the enter key. Our chatbot gets to work transforming these bullet points. <laughs> and, and yes, we get a rewrite of our original bullet points. Maybe not all for the better. Let's look more closely. First off, it fixed the original unparalleled constructed bullet lines. On that slide, some of the lines start with an introductory phase with a colon like good news colon or could be a hardship colon. While the second line starts off with a pronoun of you and the third line uses a comma instead of a colon. Also, there's a mixture of short lines and long lines of text. The original slide is ruined just by this haphazard grammatical pattern construct. Look at what GPT did. It fixed the original sentences unparalleled structure by breaking out into leading bullet point headers and then adding sub bullet points. Furthermore, GPT was super clever in identifying the last lines and doubling up of two ideas and breaking them into two distinct bullet points. However, the overall tone of the slide is a bit too casual. Good news. And remember this. So let's instruct ChatGPT to make it more professional and GPT will transform the collection of bullet points into a more formal set that clearly is explained. But this added clarity makes each bullet point way too verbose. Bullet points should be snippets of sentences on the single side page. Once again, this should not be worded as a memo, but as a talking point in a presentation. So I'm going to just issue a new GPT prompt of use fewer words. Pay attention to the key feature of ChatBTT. It's truly a chat session where you can use conversational interactions, little chats, to do iterative modifications to your results until you get the exact desired results. Issue a command prompt, review the results, and then ask for modifications. Repeat. And now this is great. A huge improvement over our original slide. Look at the end results that I have moved GPT's suggestions back into PowerPoint and compare. Look at this. Yes, these ideas are now just snippets, but key snippets. Remember, we are writing for a slide presentation, not a standalone dissertation. While presenting these slides, you would 
fill in the details to supplement your terse bullet points. It's a partnership of key concepts on your slide and presentation storytelling. This is the cornerstone of great presentations. Now, let's see how to build higher quality results with a new example. One that's not so bad as the first scenario, but still, it has some issues. Once again, it has too many words per line, and the construct of each line is inconsistent. But before we do the bullet point makeover, here's a valuable ChatGPT pro tip. When revamping a new slide with a ChatGPT makeover, always start with a new chat command. This will take care of not remembering the earlier prompt request and setting the tone of parameters that you do not want to sneak into your new remake. Starting from scratch with a new chat session will let you shape the result and not get tainted by the earlier modification that you'd given in the previous chat session. Okay, let's fix this second slide. I'm gonna paste in this prompt. Fixing this presentation slide bullet points and keep it on one slide. And then I'm gonna add the bullet points from my presentation. Right off the bat, these results are better. But why? Why are these results better without having to do any follow up prompts like we did before? This example has a higher quality starting point. Our first example went from a messy slide that was not focused to a slightly better after our first GPT makeover. But this time, we went with a starting point that had respectively a good slide, and GPT took that good slide and made it even better. While we can't give GPT credit for following my first rule of thumb of limiting bullet points to six bullet points per page, because that's the number of bullet points that we started off with, but look at the next rule of avoiding too many words. Since the slide started with minimal words, GPT also attempted to maintain the brevity without any prompting from me. Where GPT really shines is fixing the original slide starting words of nouns and verbs and adverbs and pronouns, and instead making each line start with a verb. That is an outstanding word construction. Four stars for that move. Maybe make it five stars as GPT did not use passive tense words, but each line started with an active verb. Limit, keep, start, avoid, use, and capture. Active verbs are an excellent strategy when communicating. Furthermore, our AI robot simplified and clarified our original last two lines, make them more clear. Exactly what you would expect a human copy editor to do for you. At first glance, this GPT makeover did not seem like much, but now you should understand that GPT can do some sophisticated and subtle editing that may have escaped our attention at the beginning. But even with a solid set of bullet points on our first try, we can add some extra flair by giving commands of make the bullet points more dynamic. And here we move from sentence structure to a more persuasive language. GPT went from starting each line with just the active verb, which is not bad, but it ranches it up to action words, adding excitement. But a word of warning, just cause it looks good on the screen, you have to be comfortable delivering the text in your presentation. If you're a stand in front of your coworkers, would they be confused with your new fancy persona when you say things like, ignite interest with action verbs at each point or banish passive voice with your presentation. If that's not your style, then do edit the text and get closer to match your own voice. GPT is wordsmithing is not perfect as some language may still sound stilted like the 
action verbs at each point start. Maybe a better natural rewrite would be ignite interest by starting lines with action verbs. Remember, this is a collaboration, but ultimately you decide what works and what to edit. Let's tackle another slide with bullet issues. This slide gets a bit irritable, talking about unhappiness with team members, complaints about unfairly shared workloads and the lack of support, plus struggle with team collaboration. Tone is as important as grammar and spelling. And this slide might be construed as just a complaining troublemaker based on the tone of the message. Let's look and start with this simple, fix this slide, and the results, a much more professional tone. Example from Zoom meeting stinks to virtual meetings effectiveness, dissatisfaction with Zoom for virtual meetings. <laughs> However, depending on your audience, maybe the original Zoom stinks is more expressive. If you want to know more about deeper sculpting the tone for a presentation, check out my tutorial called ChatGPT Slide Title Makeover for better presentation, where I teach you how to tailor the message for the audience. Nevertheless, this GPT version does standardize on a more consistent professional collection of bullet points. But I did nothing about the organization of the actual bullet points. It just rewrote the lines one by one by one. And to be honest, the original slide was chaotic with no structure to the list. Let's give ChatGPT a chance to reimagine the slide and bring some order with organize these into categories. And now GPT is more than just copy editing. It's doing its own version of robot thinking, rearranging similar bullet points together. However, the level of thinking <laughs> may fall short. Are these two bullet points under attendance and health really related and worthy of grouping together? Or just a word salad of two non-related topics stuck together and made bold? GPT is a roll of the dice. I've seen it do some amazing groupings when I asked for help with organization. Still, I chose this example to demonstrate that you must always use your superior intellect to edit GPT suggestions to make them better. But before I re-edit this slide on my own, let's make the slide more forceful with fewer words. And there is a much different slide from our original. It does bring consistency to the language, but in my opinion, it's not ready for prime time. You must be the thinking member of the team, since you're the human, and take the best of GPT's ideas and make them your own. Here is my re-edited slide. I love GPT ideas of organizing the list, but it's not a recommended set of groupings that I like. So I reimagine the slides and bar some of GPT's phrases to create this slide. This heavily edited slide improves GPT's ideas and is head and shoulders better than the original slide. Together, GPT and I are awesome. Remember, this is a collaborative effort and you are still the superior thinking machine. ChatGPT is not taking your job <laughs> as long as you're smarter. So don't be lazy and copy the results without evaluating the results and thinking them through. Let's do one more example, but this time we're gonna work with a more open-ended set of questions. I never use GPT to build a slide deck with no controls. If you think you can start with a blank page and tell Jap Ch chat GPT to go, it will take you down some strange paths that could lead you completely astray 
or just plain wrong. Trust me, PowerPoint presentations are very visible. And if you recklessly take GPT results without thinking, you could be unmasked as a fraud and potentially called out in a meeting in front of your peers. And that job embarrassment will follow you around for a very long, long time. So keep ChatGPT under your control. I always provide some context, even when asking for help. Here's an example of an open-ended questions. What is missing from this PowerPoint slide called project status? While I'm asking for more ideas, it is grounded to a specific topic and question. The AI robot understands from my prompt that I'm trying to create project status and the robot will inspect its large language database of other project, project status reports and then recommend what topics I should consider. Basically, it's expanding the list with additional ideas often found in a typical status report. And of course, complete with corporate speak words, but still relevant ideas. Ideas that I could pick and choose to add to my original bullet point slide based on my situation. While GPT is just pulling this idea from thousands or millions of previous report slides, it's done the heavy lifting to give me more brainstorming ideas. And this is central to this training on ChatGPT. It is not some magical oracle, but a collaborative tool to ignite your ideas to be better. Use your brain power with Jack GPT's brainstorming ideas to create awesome bullet points in both grammar construct and idea content. To learn more tips, consider watching Elevate PowerPoint with seven chat GPT tips to learn more about fine tuning your message by tailoring the slides for your target audience to like and subscribe until next time, go power up.